Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about the app store and on your iPhone. And more specifically, I'm gonna show you how to change the country or region for your app store on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, why would you wanna change the country or region on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe there's other apps in different countries that just are not available in your country. An app store is segregated depending on which country you are downloading from or which country you are using. So for example, if you're in the United States and you wanna download an app that's only on the Canada App Store, you would need to change the country on your iPhone. But how do you do that? Well, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled right through the App Store, which is this blue and white app right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave these written instructions there as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and open up my App Store now. Okay, I went ahead and opened up my App Store. This is the home screen, so you're gonna see different notifications from the Apple App Store. But if you want to change the country or region to your app store, you want to click on your icon that you designated for your phone. So I designated these pink lips right here on the top right. Yours is probably different. It doesn't really matter. You just want to go ahead and click on it. I'm going to click there now. All right. Once you click there, then your app store account is going to pop up right here. Now, one thing I want to note is that in order to switch between countries on your app store, there's a couple of things that have to happen. First, you can't have a balance on your app store. So you need to either spend down the money. If you happen to have something like 25 cents or some small fraction of a dollar or a currency, then you can contact Apple and ask them to delete that currency. Or you can just go ahead and use it on one of the other apps that you already have. And how you can check to see what your balance is, you can click on this button right here, add funds to Apple ID. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you click there, then this pops up and you're gonna be able to see what your Apple ID balance is. So you can see mine is zero, so I am free to go ahead and switch that over to a different country or region. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this now. All right, so once you have your Apple ID balance down to zero, whether it's by spending it or contacting Apple to have that deleted, then you can go ahead and move on to switching the country. And what you wanna do is go ahead and click on your Apple ID right here on the top. It's probably gonna be your email address. That's the only Apple ID I've ever seen. If yours is not an Apple ID email, leave a comment below, but it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and click on this top line. Okay, next you're gonna get this account settings for your app store. So as you can see, you'll see your Apple ID right here at the top again, but here's what you wanna look for, country or region right there. I'm gonna go ahead and click there now. All right, next this pops up and you're gonna get this warning from Apple letting you know that if you change your country or region, it's automatically gonna cancel any automatic renewing subscriptions that you have. So just be aware of that. As long as that looks good to you, go ahead and click on this blue change country or region button. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next you get a long list of different countries and regions. So you can go ahead and choose one that works for you. So let me go ahead and choose a country just by random. So let's go ahead and choose Cambodia. Okay, so I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you're gonna get this terms and conditions from Apple in order to change your country or region for your app store. So go ahead and read through it. If everything looks good to you, go ahead and click this blue agree button here on the top right. All right, next you're gonna get the secondary confirmation. Go ahead and click agree if you agree with the terms. All right, next you're gonna get this screen right here. So they do ask you to add a credit card that is accepted in Cambodia or whichever country or region that you had requested. But if you're just gonna be downloading free apps, you don't really have to add in a credit card. You can go ahead and click right here and click none. I'm gonna click here now. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. Now we're ready to go ahead and set up and change the country or region on my app store. I'm gonna click this next button now. Okay, and just a few seconds later, the account settings pops back up and now my country or region has been changed over to Cambodia. Now, one thing I wanna let you know, it's going to ask for an address. I actually just went ahead and just typed in some random address. I actually don't know if it's actually an address or not. And I just filled in the scrolling drop down menu. So again, it's nothing that they're gonna verify for the address. So let me go ahead and switch back on over to my app store now. All right, so I went ahead and switched over to my app store and now I have apps available to me that are only in the Cambodia store. And another thing I wanna note is that you can switch back to your old country as well, but it's gonna be the same thing. If you have any type of currency associated with your app store in that country, it needs to be spent down to zero or you need to contact Apple to have them delete that currency. So that is how you can change the country or region to your app store on your iPhone. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.